Don't be a chicken. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks. Well, good morning. What I'm doing today is uh, getting this all laid out. I'm going to make the uh, the platform that my fuel tank sets on. And what I'm going to do is I'll cut it out and I'll show you how I'm going to do it in the boat here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take uh, some strips of plywood and laminate across and laminate the uh, stainless steel bands in between so it can uh, um, fasten the tank down for uh, rough seas and whatnot. So we'll get started. show you where that goes. We'll see how it looks. Alright. What this does, let's get it in there. What this does is the uh, fuel tank sets in here and then right here while the fuel lines go right in here and attach on the fuel in the vent but then there's a strap what I'm going to do is I'll tab clear to there and run all the way across there and there's a piece of three quarter inch stainless strap that comes up around here and, the, and then they did the same thing for the back and I got this piece a little long it's touching the transom what I'm going to do is I'm going to shorten it up. The uh, I got the measurements for my fuel tank there. It's like 44 inches and this is 48. I'll back this up because I don't want to cover over the inside part of my drain to drain the water out of the boat. In the back here I want to make sure it's exposed on this side just in the case you get any debris or anything in it. So, and I, if you remember, if you've been watching my videos, I put that long piece of... Uh, PVC on there to bring it up this way so it didn't get clogged so need be I might have to trim both the wood and that but what I'm okay I wanted to show you here's a piece of that old uh, tanking strapping that they had let me show you how this was I don't know if you can see this see they had uh, cut this rib out here and that banding run through that see then they just kind of overlapped and then on top they put this rubber so, uh, let me see if you can see that. It went like that. They rubbered it. It almost looks like from looking at the end that they put the wood down and laid the band on top of it and just wrapped the, uh, the uh, fiberglass mesh over it. I'm going to probably take and cut a little channel and put the banding on the bottom. And then uh, just so that you don't have just the fiberglass course that held up probably 30 years like that so anyhow to give you some idea what I'm doing and I'll just take this here and I'm gonna take and uh, I'll take and just cut the banding is uh, three-quarter inch after measuring it here that's uh, I'm gonna use the same band I'm, and I'm just going to cut a channel in that and just lay that band between that and then I'll take and uh, tap it all in all, all of it down on my uh, wood there anyhow I'm going to I'm going to measure these here it's uh, one center is eight inches and the other is uh, seven and a half from the ends but that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and go ahead and uh, Get these cuts to length. I've got one cut already. Got me another one, and, uh, and this is what I'm working on. And what I'll do is I'll take and after I've got this all done, and 
this would just be another piece. So I'm trying to build as much on the outside of the boat as I can and then put it on the inside, kind of make it a little easier, a little less uh, uh, fumes and everything. But uh, anyhow, this is what I'm doing today, and I'll show you what I'm done. Have a good day. Later.